The 4th of July is less than two weeks away. It'll be the biggest travel weekend since the start of the pandemic, according to one app called Hopper that tracks the numbers. The TSA is forecasting over 2 million people will pass through security checkpoints. Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport is expected to be the eighth busiest airport over the holiday weekend. The morning on Thursday, July 1st is expected to be the busiest time over the course of the weekend. Brittany Kleinpeter joining us now live from the airport. Brittany, there have been parking issues even before this busy travel time approaches. Are there any fixes on the horizon? That's right. That's what we're hearing. And at last check, four out of the 10 parking lots are completely full. And officials tell me they are trying to get all the parking lots that were closed during the pandemic back open. But passengers tell me finding a spot today is like winning the lottery. Parking is horrible. Um, I had to ride around maybe five, six times. It shocks me, but I, it confuses me at the same time because why should parking be an issue. It's crazy. I didn't know an airport this big would not have any parking. Travelers say they're spending hours searching for parking and in some cases even missing their flights because of it. Airport officials say they're working to alleviate the packed parking lots, but patrons say it's just not enough. Many taking matters into their own hands. We have a family member who traveled and they had was a prop, they, you know, and um, they said it was hard. They kept going around and around and around, and that took up so much time. So we got here like really early. And I've heard that people have had long waits to find a parking space. So we went ahead and parked off about two and a half miles from here to take a shuttle. According to airport officials, all on property parking lots besides Park Ride A and Park Ride C have reopened, which includes 10 lots offering almost 29,000 spots. They say they're constantly updating parking lot statuses online and they're encouraging patrons to park at the international terminal and use a shuttle to get to domestic. Coming up at 6, I'll have more on what authorities say they're doing to remedy these parking issues in the next coming days.